Namaskaram friends. So in this video, I am going to talk about Rosetta Stone. What Rosetta Stone is? It is nowadays a center of demand for historians of Egypt. And on this stone, three types of language, three scripts are written. And for different, different types of people. Four for elite people, second for common one, third for administration. And it is found in the Greek these scripts are found in Greek uh, Greek script. This language on the stone is found in Greek, Greek language. And this stone is found uh, in the region. The writings on the stone is found when Alexander the Great is ruling in that region. So this uh, stone is very, very famous because this stone is much view attractive side in the British Museum. And there are many much developments going on about this stone. So now we are going to talk about what Rosetta stone is. So Rosetta stone is, it is an object that helped create a new domain of history. It created altogether a new domain of history and is the most visited item at the British Museum. It is at a center of demand by the historian of Egypt. Okay. UK is being asked to return the Rosetta Stone, a large stone slab. Rosetta Stone is a large stone slab. UK is asked to re return this stone to its native uh, people. And it is a large stone, uh, stone slab that has fascinated the world since its discovery around two centuries ago. It discovered two centuries uh, years ago. And from now, till, from till date till now, it is fascinated the whole uh, world about its discovery because there are many, many great and important features are scripted on this and this is very significant in this history point of view. That's why the demand of this research is told me in the historians of Egypt as well as people demanded to return, people demanded to UK to return this stone to its native people so that they can decipher it and uh, use it in a better way. Okay. The Ros Rosetta stone is a large stone slab with inscription on it and is believed to be a piece of a bigger rock. It is a large stone and inscription are written on it. In, in my background, you can clearly see in my background, uh, it, it is a picture of a Rosetta stone. What is written on the Rosetta stone? It is not much clear, but this is a background of a, uh, this is what written on the Rosetta stone. I choose deliberately this background so that you can understand this topic in a good manner. Okay. So on Rosetta stone, inscription in three lines, inscription in three script, all of which convey a decree or public message. On Rosetta stone, inscription are scripted in three script, and all of which convey a decree or public message. Like when you uh, read the ancient Indian history, where in that Ashoka placed many stupas and many uh, slabs to convey their message to the people about the religion of Buddhism, about their dharma, about their initiation. So it is similar to how ancient India King Asoka ordered Istamba and Egypt that had message of Buddha's teaching and news about victory in the war inscribed on it. Okay. So these were then placed throughout the kingdom for the public to see. So these uh, uh, stupa and edicts placed throughout the kingdom so that people see it and uh, understand it and gain some knowledge about what is written on it, what is the decree of the king to its rulers. So the important thing is that the decree is inscribed three times. Decree is inscribed three times. Okay. It is written in three script and it is inscribed three times. First one is hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs it is suitable for restrict decree. It is for a it is suitable for a priestly decree. So if priestly decree is issued by a king, it is written in a hieroglyphs. Demotic, the cursive Egyptian script used for daily purpose, meaning language of the people. So if it is written in a demotic, that means it is for a common people and regular day-to-day -day work about regular day-to-day -day work. And third one is ancient Greek, the language of the administration. Ancient Greek is the language of administration. The rulers of Egypt at this point, at this point when the inscription is inscribed on the stone, so rulers of Egypt at this point were Greco-Macedonian after Alexander the Great conquered because Alexander the Great conquered that region. So here Greco-Macedonian empire is established 
so at that time at language of administration is ancient greek so three types hieroglyphs demotic ancient greek hieroglyphs for priestly priestly decree demotic for common people decree ancient greek for administration purpose therefore the rosetta stone stand out for being the discovery so it rosetta stone stand out as a discovery that help develop the specific field of ancient egypt study called egyptology so rosetta stone all together create a create a new field of history and also help develop a specific field of ancient egypt study called egyptology in which they decipher the language of egypt at that point of time before it was found there were no knowledge what egyptian hieroglyphs meant and how they were translated so after the finding of that stone they know about the hieroglyphs that means a decree of priestly class and how it is deciphered and how it is translated so few important point about rosetta king in this picture rosetta stone i'm sorry so in this picture you can clearly see a large stone slab it is a rosetta stone a three types you can clearly see first stone second one three in three it is written in three script and also three times parvani hero graphs demotic and ancient greek this one is for priestly decree for common decree and this is for administration purpose okay so in, in summary wise three i summarize it in three scripts written three times three types hieroglyphs demotic as well as ancient greek it is for priestly decree it is for common people decree it is for administration purpose it all together create a new field of study in egypt called egyptology before it there we have no idea about hieroglyphy and its translation and most visited item in the uk museum people demanded to return people demanded uk to return to its native people okay and uh, one more important point is uh, historians of egypt demand this stone so that they can decipher many thing which are written on it okay so now we are going to solve one question on it now on rosetta stone so to consider the following statement regarding the rosetta stone that has recently seen in the news which is very much in news okay rosetta stone is very much in news you have to know about it what it is its importance its purpose and in which time period it is existed so the first one is rosetta stone is a large stone slab yes with inscription that convey the decree or public message yes similar to how king ashoka ordered stamba that had message of buddha teaching yes totally true second one is rosetta stone stand out for being the discovery that have developed the specific field of ancient egypt study yes egyptology this one is also correct third one is at present it is located in british museum yes people demanded to return to its native people but currently it is located in british museum and it is the most view item in that museum so all the statement 1 2 3 8, 8 are correct that is option d is correct just check we are on the right path or not so we are on the right path that means option d is correct so i hope you understand something about rosetta stone its important its significance and its role in understanding the history of the great macedonian rulers of that kind of of that time period so i hope you love this you enjoyed so namaskaram thank you